Thank you for tuning in to The Only Stations, giving you double the information and inspiration, WDRB Media and WGIV, the soul of Charlotte. This is Miss Carmen, your host of Carmen and Cream, and we are back at it this week in my series called The Family Unit. We're in part four called Sparks and Flow, talking about intimacy in the relationship. I went over intimacy in the friend relationship and intimacy in the committed relationship because as I told you before that there are levels of a relationship that you should go through the friend relationship committed marriage relationships so those three levels I have my good friend here Nestor who is married he's going to put his insight into our show of course you know that I'm not married so I just want to make sure I'm giving you an accurate uh, account of <laughs> of marriage I don't want to just force my opinions and you know just make up things as I go as because you know I base my show off of my experiences mostly and just my knowledge and my wisdom and I have some I have some of that on marriage but I just want there to be uh, someone else that can talk to you that is in it and going through it with you and so he's going to talk about keeping the intimacy alive when you have children especially small children in the home because a lot of times with with us with women we get into mommy mode when the children are around and so we just want to talk about how uh, what ways you can keep the spark alive how you can you know, still have intimacy and still take care of your children at the same time. So, uh, Nestor, are there any any ways that you and your wife kind of have created any techniques <laughs> that you can keep intimacy alive while you have your children? I guess, I guess with me, I, I can give you my perspective as a man, as a married man. And one of the things I've I've noticed, I guess, in our relationship, I is is communication and it might, might sound silly but communication is everything to in intimacy and the reason why I say this is because if you guys don't talk it out on who's doing what and what jobs they're doing in, 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 in your relationship especially when there's children because usually as men we think of ourselves first and foremost I know we're husbands I know we're fathers but first and foremost we don't think about our wives how much they're going through for example, I'm I'm a married man who who uh, who I support my family and my wife stays home and, and takes care of the children. Of course, I think that's an easy job because I'm coming to I go to work and I make my money and and I come home and first thing I want to do is be with my wife. But we still have children there, and what I mean by communicating and, and being being considerate of her time is asking first and foremost, how are you doing? How'd right. your day go? Yeah. I mean, I got to break the ice with her also mm -hmm. and find out what's going on because, you know, I have to test the waters. Mm -hmm. If she's not, if she's not, if she's had a rough day, because two kids, two boys will run you ragged. Yes, I have one boy and I'm just like about to tear my hair out and I don't even stay home with him. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I don't stay home. And I, 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 I guess as a man, as soon as I come home, I want to do what I want to do, relax, eat and, and be into my wife. I mean, I got to remember that she's cleaning, she's paying bills. She's taking their kids, teaching them, and everything else that comes along. Mm -hmm. And I guess with us, what we do, first and foremost, we find out how we're doing with one another. See where she's at and where I'm at. And then, this is the biggest thing. You have to create that moment. We forget as husbands that our wives still want to be courted. Mm -hmm. They want to feel beautiful. They want to feel, feel like they're wanted and needed. Mm -hmm. Not just needed to clean the kid's nose or change a diaper or wash my clothes but they, they want to feel like they're a woman right and yes. and being a husband we forget that mm -hmm. and so creating that intimate time with her is first find out hey do you want me to wash the dishes do i need to do i need to clean up the living room it might sound silly but i've come to realize that women wives especially they get in the mood when they know that they're being loved. Mm -hmm. They're being taken care of. Right. They're being thought of. I know it's a, I know it's a silly way of courting someone, but women, especially wives with children, they want to feel like they that you're part of this. Mm -hmm. And you know what? She's exhausted. 
Yes. She's yes. exhausted. And I know for a fact. I mean, I sometimes my wife leaves the house and I and I watch the kids for two minutes and I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. And I can imagine how she feels. So what we do is the first and foremost is get the house set first. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything is set first. Let her relax. And every chance you get, when you're by yourselves, enjoy it. Talk to her, watch some TV, and start off again like your friends again and we're courting mm -hmm. one another. And that's how we start off with the little things. And then the big thing is, is we have to make time. Utilize yeah. our friends and family. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I call my mother-in-law up and say, hey, can you do me a favor? Come over for the weekend. I mean, we're not taking a long vacation, but you know what? We may go to Savannah, Georgia. Not real expensive. Mm -hmm. You have to get away from the children. You have to get away from the home. Get away from the stresses. And again, you learn each other. See what's going on. Ask her questions. Because you know what we grow as? We grow as a couple. But we tend to grow apart also. Mm -hmm. And the stress of life, for, for in my opinion, when it comes to wives, we forget what their needs are. Because we have expectations. Mm -hmm. And especially as a godly man, sometimes we tend to we tend to, to, to think, hey, I'm, I'm out there busting my hump, and that's her job. No, her job, at first and foremost, is to take care of those children. Mm -hmm. Because that's, how they, that's the way mommies are. Right, they right. think about their children. As husbands, the first thing we think about is ourselves. I hate to say it, we all for sure. We all think that we're, we're the most important thing at the time. And again, with my wife, I've realized is 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 I have to set the mood. Right. Because like, you know how they say a woman is what you make her. That is so true. Like when we're feeling that love, when we're feeling that support and that respect and that honor that a man is supposed to be giving, giving us, especially our husbands, then we sort of just fall in line. Like we don't mind doing for you. We don't mind all of the stress that we just went through on that hard day with the kids. And we don't mind doing that. So it's just like once you set that mood and that tone of the house of you being the man, then we're just like, okay, everything's good. The house is good. The kids are settled. Everything's great. Okay, now let me focus on my husband. Let me get into wife mode. I think that that sparks wife mode. Right, you know? right. Instead of mommy mode, because it's, it's kind of hard to get us out of there sometimes. But, you know, you go into wife mode and be like, okay, what does he need? What does he, what are his wants right now, you know? The the funny thing is, is that when when I first started courting my wife, it was taking her to the movies, buying flowers, buying jewelry. Hey, sending her to the spa. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's how, that's what we do. We court mm -hmm. through money. Mm-hmm. But now, I, 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 it's, it's, this happened to me about four months ago. I was really wanting to, to have spend time with her. So I went and brought flowers. I went ahead and, and ordered food to come in so to set the mood. And the funny thing is, all she wanted was a foot massage. <laughs> I'm here spending about $200. Oh, stuff, yeah. And it was about... About a f just relaxing. Yeah. And that's the little things we tend to forget. Yeah. We forget it's, no, it's not sending it to the spot, which is nice also. Mm -hmm. But it's the little things that build up to the big things. Mm -hmm. And I guess when you start courting marriage, you have to court your wife every single day. Mm -hmm. And that's the mistake we do as men. We think that we're in a committed relationship, mm -hmm. that she's mine. Right. It's not about she's mine. It's about what can I do for her? Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. It's setting the tone. And yes, we all have needs. And every relationship is different. But with me, I've come to realize that we as men, we tend to forget that she doesn't feel sexy right now. She's been cleaning in bleach all day, cleaning in, cleaning in the toilet, changing diapers, mm -hmm. cleaning the living room, sitting down trying to figure out how we're gonna pay these bills. And then here I come, happy, happy, <laughs> happy husband. Hey, let's 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 get our let's get our grind on. Right. Instead of saying, "Hey, honey, let me take care of those dishes." Mm -hmm. And that intimacy, that to me, that's being intimate. I didn't think like that, but it took my wife, and I started off by saying communicating. Mm -hmm. 
If you guys communicate and sit down and say, hey, what do we need to do to get what we have to get to? Instead of saying, hey, me, I want to get my, my, my joy off. And instead of saying, hey, what does my wife need mm -hmm. to get her to that place? It's Again, it's like Corden. We have to get her there. Right. We as men, we're like a car. You turn the engine on, we're good to go. Mm -hmm. Not my wife. <laughs> and I, not, and not most women. It's right. not just your wife. That's mm -hmm. just how we operate. Right, right. It's a, there's, there's men, we're physical. We're about physical, about getting... When we're physically involved with someone, that's how we, we get our stress relief. Women are not like that. Mm -hmm. Women take a little more. You have to you have to detail that car before you ride it. Yeah. Men, we get in the car, we turn it on. We don't care if it has mud on it. If the, the windows are there, we're going to get in and go. Mm -hmm. With my wife, I've realized, just asking her, what do you need done? And without asking her, without, without we're making sure that I don't ask her with a hidden agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Because when she, we always think, how can I get what I need? Mm -hmm. Instead of asking, what do you need to get where I need to get to? Mm -hmm. And getting there together. And now, um, if if you listen to my show, everybody knows that I always somehow end up getting on the women about n not doing their part and within the relationship to make the relationship work, to make the man feel like the man and supporting him supporting his dreams it's not all about what the man can give to you and how can he satisfy me what can he buy me what gift can he give me today it's about it's it's a two-way street i always get on the women about that because a lot of times we feel like oh this is what he's supposed to be doing mm -hmm. you know and and sometimes people have choice people have a choice you know so it's just like i my boyfriend, he gets on me all the time because I tell him thank you. I show, you know, that I'm gracious. I have gratitude or whatever. He's like, no, I mean, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, I, I understand that. But at the same time, you know, I just want to let you know that I appreciate you. I give him I give him cards and all kind of little, you know, just love notes and all that kind of stuff to let him know that I appreciate him. So I kind of you know, try to spark the romance a little bit as a woman going to the man instead of my man having to spark the romance and the intimacy all the time. Uh, how important do you feel that is in marriage where the woman kind of initiates the intimacy? That that would be a dream come true for most men. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, most men would say, oh, I would love for my wife to be waiting for me in a negligee when I come home. Mm-hmm. But reality sets in. Right. You understand? <laughs> and and the one of the things that, that I that I speak on is compromising. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that we that we as 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 individuals don't want to do. We don't want to compromise. We have we have a belief that a man's role is to do this, a woman's role is to do this. Mm -hmm. That's what society messes us up. We're every relationship is different. It's important for my, I would love for my wife to be waiting for me in the negligee every day with the kids in bed, sitting there, I love martinis, mm -hmm. sitting there with a martini mm -hmm. like Rick and Ricardo, <laughs> come on with a martini waiting for me. Mm -hmm. That's not it. Mm -hmm. Fact of the matter is, I have a two-year-old and a five-year-old. Mm -hmm. My two-year-old thinks he's a police. He'll come busting through the door <laughs> looking for his mommy just because... His, his 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 blanket came off the bed, or his monkey he sleeps with his teddy bear falls on the floor. Mm -hmm. So we have to sneak and close the door and enjoy the moment together. So what I tell people always: compromise, talk about it, and set up time for one another to love one another. Well, I think that wraps up our discussion for this week. We're going to return with. Uh, fun for the whole family how to keep the sparks and the flow within the full family relationship getting you know your kids involved in activities you know just making a happy home so that's what we're going to discuss next week i hope you all enjoyed the show thank you so much for tuning in to wgiv and we will speak with you next week